Welcome to the second part of the ninth lecture that is question involving some higher level of questions on the permutation. So without taking any further time, just directly begin with the question. Our next question is, how many different four letter words can be formed? The words need not to be meaningful using the letters of the word Mediterranean such that the first letter is E and the last letter is R. Pause the video, take your time and try to solve this question on your own, okay? Let's approach this question. This question is asking for a four letter word to be formed using the letters of the word Mediterranean, okay? It is a 13 letter word and we have to form a four letter word out of these 13 letters. And a condition is given that is the first letter of this four letter word that we have to find should start with E and the last letter should be R. We are having four slot as we have to find a four letter word and the first letter to be E and the last letter to be R. Okay. So basically we are having only two vacant slot and from this given word one E has been used as a first letter and one R has been used as an last letter. So we are remaining with only 11 letters. These are the 11 letter and we have to fill the two vacant spaces based on these 11 letters. Got it? This is the condition that is given in the question. So we have understood the question. Okay. Now let's proceed how to approach this question. This is a slightly tricky question. So I will tell you the different approaches that we can use which are not the correct approaches, okay? You should know the incorrect as well as the correct both approaches. The incorrect approaches will tell you what you are doing the wrong and the correct approach will tell you what you should do to approach the question, okay? So incorrect approaches are also as equally important as the correct approaches. So firstly, we will see some of the incorrect approaches. So we are having 11 letter which includes the two E's, two A's, two N's and single M, single D, single I, single T and single R. So let's proceed. We are having two slots and we are having 11 letters. In the previous lecture, we have seen when the items or the letters are repeating, then how we have approached those questions. We have firstly applied the normal permutation. That is, these are 11 letters, so 11 factorial will be there. And we have to divide that answer with a number that the letters are repeating like here E is repeating two time and A is repeating two time and N is repeating two time. So our answer should be 11 factorial upon two factorial into two factorial into two factorial. But here this answer is wrong because here we are having only two slot and the given input letter is 11. So here this answer will not be valid because in this case the vacant spaces should be 11. So this fundamental will not be applicable here. Okay. It is tempting by seeing that two E's are repeating, two A's are repeating and two N's are repeating. So it is tempting to apply this fundamental, but this is not correct. Okay. Moving further, we are having 11 input letter. So we can say N is equal to 11 and we are having two vacant spaces that is R equal to two. So we can apply the permutation formula that is NPR equal to N factorial upon N minus R factorial. So let's put the value. We got the answer as 11 into 10. But sorry, again, this answer is also wrong. Okay. The same answer we can get by using the fundamental principle of counting. That is in the first slot, we can put the 11 letter. In the second slot, we can put the 10 letter as one letter has been consumed by the first slot. So our answer should be 11 into 10. But this answer is not correct. Why? Why this answer is not correct? Because here E is repeating two times, A is repeating two times and N is repeating two times. For clarity, let's give the different color to the repeating letters. Suppose we take the first E in the first slot and D in the second slot. Okay. So we got E, E, D, R. And in the second case, we take the second E in the first slot and the D in the second slot. Again, we got the letter as E, E, D, R. 
but basically these two words are same but we have taken the two different e's getting the fundamental here the words are repeating we have taken the different letters that is we have taken the first e and the second e in the different cases but we are getting the same output that is our words are repeating so our this answer that is 11 into 10 is wrong because here e a and n are repeating two time getting the fundamental here some of the letters are repeating so we cannot use this fundamental here we will get some overlapping in the different arrangement or the output of the words that we have got okay so this will not be helpful here so how to approach this question one thing i can directly go to the answer how to solve this question but i am telling you the different approaches that will come into your mind while dealing with this question or some other question and how to cancel out those approaches and what is wrong with all those approaches which you should prevent in the examination okay i can directly tell you this is his answer but this pathway is very important for your basic fundamental okay so let's move further and let's see how to approach this question so to approach this question we will do some manual calculation okay we will manually put these letters in this two slot and we will try to figure out how to approach this question okay firstly we will take the letters which are repeating like let's take the letter a a we can form the word using the two letters a a s e a a r and if we interchange both a again we got the same answer that is e a a r that is the same output okay by using these two a we are getting the single output that is e a a r so we can say if we use the both a we got the one output let's keep it separately further if we use the two e's we again got the single output let's put it separately similarly by using the two n's we are getting the single output so we can conclude that by using two e's two a's and two n's we are getting total three outputs we are doing the manual calculation so we have found the total three words by using two e's two a's and two n's moving further suppose we take the m in the first slot and a in the second slot in the second case we again take the m in the first slot now we are taking the second a in the second slot okay by doing so we are getting the single output that is whatever a you choose like here we are getting two cases as we have chosen the two different a's but we are getting the single output it means that either we choose the first a or the second a we are getting the single output so why we are considering the two different a's let's consider the single a okay whatever a you will choose either the first a or the second a you will get the same output so let's convert the both a's into a single a okay similarly if we choose the first e or the second e we will get the same output like here if we choose m in the first slot and e in the second slot we get the output as e m e r okay again if we choose the second e we get the same output so why we are again considering two e's let's consider the single e in spite of the two e's okay we will get the same output same is applicable with the case n also why we are considering two n's if we consider single n in case of two n's we will get the same output nothing will change getting the fundamental if we consider only single a single e and single n nothing will change we will get the same output this we are doing so that the overlapping can be avoided okay so we have considered single e in place of 2e single a in place of 2as single n in place of 2ns and m d i t and r are already single so we got total eight letters are you catching this fundamental how we have come up with eight letter okay because two e's are serving no purpose okay it is only creating the confusion two a's and two n's are only creating the confusion they are serving no purpose so why not consider two e's as a single e two a's as single a and two n as single n okay now we got the total eight letter and we are having two slot now we can directly use the formula of the permutation that is npr n factorial upon n minus r factorial we got our answer as eight into seven got it the same thing we can got from the fundamental principle of counting 
in the first slot we can put the eight letters in the second slot we can put the seven letter so we got our answer as eight into seven that is 56 and the three words we have already calculated separately that are these three words okay 56 words we have formed using this method and three words we have calculated separately so we got our answer as 56 plus 3 that is 59 this is the answer of the question slightly a tricky and lengthy question but this is the logic that we have to use to solve this question okay now i think you will be able to understand why we have used so okay no complex formula has been used to solve this question only the simple formula that is npr or the fundamental principle of counting has been used i think that you already know the only thing that will govern the path of this answer is the logic that is hidden behind this question okay it is having two e's two a's and two n's and how to approach this question that is very important that is the logic behind this question one more advice again go to the start of this question and again see the complete video of this answer okay it will be a really helpful to you how we have approached the question and how to prevent the incorrect way and why we have rejected the incorrect way okay so students we have done with this lecture so that's it for this video hope you have liked the video and you have enjoyed the video apart from this video we are also having a full-fledged course on permutation and combination refer the link in the description for the complete list of the course apart from this course on permutation and combination we also have the course on various other mathematics topic using animation and the visual tool refer the link in the description for the complete list of the course on the various topics of the mathematics okay students if you like the video please like share and subscribe to our channel so thank you very much for being with creator classes bye for now